Welcome to the preview video for the Fable series, The Tortoise and the Hare. This is Fable number two in the series. The first Fable is already on Teachers Pay Teachers. That one is The Boy Who Cried Wolf. So I'm going to go over the different things that are in included in this product, and I'm also going to show you a few sneak peeks and behind the scenes so you know what you're getting into. When you purchase this, it's going to give you a PDF, and these are all the things that are included in the PDF. So we have everything that's included here on the front page. We have a table of contents, which has clickable links. So if you want to jump to anything really quickly in your classroom, let's say you are wanting to print something off really fast, you just find the test cards and click right here and push print and it's done. So those are all the things that are included in this PDF. My terms of use, other things in my store that you might want to check out. And here we come to the Google Slides. These are the presentations that you're going to be prompted to make a copy of. You'll notice that there are four different levels of this story because not all of our kids are going to read on the same level. So I have one, they're roughly about grade level. So level one would be about first grade level, level two would be about second grade level and so on. But they are also divided up into Lexile, guided reading, Fontes and Pinnell, grade level, and AR level. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that. It's going to prompt you to make a copy. Make sure you are in your Google Drive that you want to be in. So let's say you have a different school Google Drive than your personal, which I do. I would want to make sure that I'm under my school. Also at the bottom, there is a video of me showing you how to incorporate this into Google Classroom and how to assign it to make sure it is um, interactive for your students. I'm going to show you these Google Slides a little bit later in the preview, but for now let's keep going. Here we have the printable um, tortoise and the hare stories. They are also leveled. So we have level one here, then level two, level three, and finally level four. Then there are 12 task cards. You can either print these out and hang them around the room and do a little scoot with this, or you can print it out and make a little packet for your students so they can answer them at their seats. So we have 12 of them here. So there's the first four, the second four, and finally the third four. And then included is a recording sheet for your students. I also included an answer sheet for you because we all know we hate looking up answers. <laughs> we want this to be as quick and as efficient as possible. So I did include an answer sheet for you. These are for the task cards. And then I also included an answer sheet for the Google Slides. You can just have this next to you as your grading and you don't have to worry about trying to figure out the answers. So we do have level one, level two, level three and level four. Really the only thing that changes here is slide 14 or 13 or 12, depending on what one you're doing. But this is the vocabulary slide. So those are different for the different levels. And then I also have included in here a video tutorial, actually several, that help you um, for anything that you're doing in here. So assigning to Google Classroom, that one was already up front tech tips that you're going to need to know for the Google Slides and deleting and extending this to make it more than just one assignment. You can actually make this into a whole week study or even just a couple days study. So I'll show you how to do that right here in this video. So now I'm going to jump over and show you what's included in the Google Slides. So there are four different levels as we've seen before. Once you click that link, it's going to prompt you to make a copy and then it's going to store that into your Google Drive. So here we have level one. Most of these, most of the slides are the same, except for the story, because the story does match the level, and the vocabulary slide, because the vocabulary does go with the level as well. So we have a direction video. This is for the students. All they do is click play, and then they actually see me manipulating my screen and sharing some tips and tricks with them, so they know exactly what's expected of them. Then we have a title slide. And also we have the story split up over some screens because it is quite a lengthy text. Here in the corners, you see that there are colors. These are gonna be used as highlighters. They're gonna be highlighting their evidence later on. And I'll show you the way that that works is they click and drag, and then they just extend the box to highlight whatever they want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we'll go down and see some of the questions. 
So we have sequencing here. And you'll also notice here in the corner, there is a mini player. This helps them to know exactly what they need to be doing on each slide. So they're gonna click on that. They're gonna extend it to grow it. And then they can watch that video to see exactly what they need to do on each slide. The great thing about this is that it's personal for each of the slides. <coughs> this one goes with the sequencing one. The next one goes with that slide. The following one goes with that slide. So they're all a little different to, to go with each slide. So here they're going to be typing the sequencing of the story. Here are some multiple choice questions. They're just going to be moving that guy to the correct answer. And we also see that we're highlighting our evidence for this one, the main character in red, and for the setting will be yellow. Again, that mini player does go with each of the slides. Some comprehension here. The lesson or the moral of the story, they'll just type that here and highlight the evidence in green. Character traits of the hair, comprehension, vocabulary, and this one does is different for all of the levels because there are harder vocabulary words as you continue up. Story details, also highlighting our evidence in blue, advice for the hair, and finally a last comprehension question. So I'm going to show you level two, and this one is very, very similar apart from the story. So you'll see the story is a little bit longer, a little more complex, and the vocabulary think one or two of them are a little bit different. Here's level three. Again, everything is the same, same setup except for the story. The story is more complex, a little bit longer. And everything here is the same as we saw, apart from the vocabulary slides. So we're getting a little bit more difficult words. And finally, level four. And you'll see these are the same apart from the story, which is now the most complex we have, the longest we have. And these are all the same, except for the vocabulary, which is now the hardest vocabulary that we have. All right, I think that is all I have to show you. I hope you enjoyed this preview.